Hello friends, welcome to Mid-Morning Manna. I'm glad you tuned in today on this Monday, the first day of the week. Now, you know, yesterday was a, it was a day of mixed emotions for my wife and I, for Nancy and I, and a number of our children were in the services yesterday. It was my last day as pastor of North Harrison Baptist Church. And uh, you say, well, preacher, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna do whatever God tells me to do, that's for sure. And we're praying earnestly about that. And uh, I believe we, we have a couple of meetings lined up down the road. And uh, I believe we'll uh, have many other opportunities along the way. I trust that we will and uh, that we, we love helping other churches. God has taught us so many things over the years about building the Sunday school and about uh, uh, running the buses, having the bus routes, having family meetings and, and couples retreats and all kinds of other things. Uh, I think we've done a little bit of almost anything you can think of in the ministry, major conferences revival fire sword of the lord other things like that that we've had the opportunity to be part of and uh, god's just been good and uh, i have many friends out there so i'd love to serve some of you as the holy spirit of god would lead you you let god have his way in those matters and uh, we're talking this week it's part two we started last week bible truth for your success in life did you get that bible truth for your success in life. And of course, we're looking in the book of Proverbs because Proverbs is a book that's just packed full of truth. We're looking at only one chapter and that's Proverbs chapter number 27. And we looked at the first five points yest uh, yesterday week, last week. And now we're gonna be looking at the last five points. And starting on this Monday, I want you to think about this. As we think about Bible truth for success in your life and what, what does the Bible, especially here in this book of Proverbs, have to say about the ability to spot evil. You know, it's amazing how many people get into bad situations that they didn't even know were bad. They didn't know that it was that bad. They didn't, and, and they, they don't know how they got there. And uh, they made a decision to take part of a situation or go to a, uh, a, an event. And uh, before you know it, they got all wrapped up in other things. And in some cases, literally destroyed their life and ruined their testimony. And it's, it's such a sad state of affairs. If, if young people could get involved in their local churches and, and if parents would take their children and go to church. And listen, sometimes you say, well, he's, that's just the way he is. It, that's not always the way he was. At one time he was a little baby and very moldable and very teachable. And uh, he had a mama and a daddy or a mama or a daddy or somebody, grandparents, that knew what was right and what was wrong. And in some cases, they weren't willing to do what was right and wrong, and but they expected that little sibling, that little that that little uh, baby, uh, that little child, that little that young teenager, that young adult. They expected that somehow they were going to come out and be perfect and make them proud. And now they're doing drugs. They're covered head to toe in tattoos. They 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 don't know what they think about transgender. They're sort of on the fence with all that stuff. And and you think, how in the world did they get that way? Well, they grew up with they grew up with you that's how they got that way and listen i just want to tell you now I, I realize that's not 100 percent the truth because there are young people that uh after they get away from the influence of their parents they come under other influences and that's why i want to talk to you about the ability to spot evil listen in proverbs chapter number 27 and and verses number 12 and 13 listen what the bible says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to decide, am I going to be a prudent person that looks for evil before I make some commitment, before I join some crowd, before I go to some event, I'm going to look and see what it's really all about. What is their character? What is their testimony? What is their, what is their moral code, if they have any code at all? And uh, listen, if it's going to be a bunch of filth, a bunch of profanity, a bunch of nudity, a bunch of ungodly talk and actions, and there's going to be drugs and, and, uh, and uh, alcohol floating around and, and available, I don't want to go to that place. I don't even want to be in that crowd. And uh, my friend, that's, the, that's what he's talking about. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. 
Look, search it out before you get that. It doesn't say when he got there, he saw that it was evil. evil. It says he foreseeth the evil. Who's going to be in that place? Who's going to go to that party? What, what are they going to be doing at that party? What, what's, what's, is it something that if I had a little child, I'd want them to see all that? Listen, folks, you've got to use your brain. That's what he's talking about here. Uh, he, he hideth himself. He just said, I'm not going there. I'm going to get out of sight. But the simple pass on and are punished. You come on hard times. You come on difficult situations because of wrong decisions that you make. Verse 13, take his garment that is surety for a stranger and take a pledge for the strange woman. And so the Bible says that uh, we need to make sure that we assure that there needs to be a surety and a pledge uh, of other people that you come in contact with, maybe people that you don't know very well. And they're, they're saying, hey, let me tell you about this thing or that thing. Hey, you better check them out a little bit first. That's what he's talking about there. Make sure they have, you know, everybody has a history. Check out their history and see where they've gone, what they've done, who they run with, the, what, what are they part of? Are they church people or are they the nightclub people? Who are they? Are, are, you know, on and on I could go with these kind of thoughts. But the ability to spot evil. You say, preacher, how can I get that ability? Well, most of us know right from wrong from the beginning. But I'll tell you this, if parents would do their job, you'd know it even better. But I, then number three, we know it. Number two, those that raise us know it. And then number three, we can find out from the word of God. As a matter of fact, this is the basis for all of it. This is where we got our standards. This is where our laws in America came from, from the word of God. It's the basis. It's the foundation for the whole thing. And, uh, you know, the Bible, uh, you go back and read the Ten Commandments and what it says and how it warns us and how it gives us guidelines of what we should allow in our life and what we should get away from quickly. And I'm telling you, God wants to make that difference in your life. Listen, you parents, you make sure that you're living. Don't tell your kids, don't do what I do, do what I say. You better clean up your act too because they're going to follow you and it's, you, they're going to do what you do and a little bit worse. They're going to do, they're going to follow you. Your habits are going to be their habits and a little bit worse. You need to get them in church. You need to serve God. You want them to turn out right. You want them to be successful. You want to be successful. Then you need to be like the prudent man. You need to see the evil and hide yourself from it. Get away from it. Let God bless you. Let God use you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the wonderful book of Proverbs. Thank you for the wisest man in the world, Solomon, who wrote these words and told us how to have success in our life, how to avoid things that are destructive to us and hurtful, not only to us, but for the generations that follow. God help us. And Father, we'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.